Guys, super pumped to bring you this deep dive into the Kirkland model, one of my favorite models when I'm coaching major organizations. Most people think that change happens like this. An organization, a person, a team learns something new. That causes them to change their behavior. So they go from not so great behavior to better behavior. And because they're behaving in this different way, this way that's better than the way that they were behaving before, their results improve. The key insight of the Kirkland model is to say that something happens before learning. And the Kirkland model calls it reaction. It's a reaction to the training material, to the content. In the Agile community, we like to broaden this and talk about connection and culture. So that's what I'm going to use here which is not the, exactly the same thing as reaction, but it's the foundation for learning. If someone or some organization doesn't trust the person who's coaching, doesn't believe in that person, has anxiety, fear, is concerned about being attacked, or is concerned about their position, it's going to be very difficult for them to learn something. And so a big mistake that organizations make is that they bring in an agile coach and they say, teach my people something new, teach them scrum. Then they'll behave differently and then we'll get better results. But in fact, virtually every agile transformation has to start with culture. I like to break culture down into four parts, safety, trust, shared understanding and goals and alignment. And so I do a hard check of culture before doing any training or coaching of Scrum, Agile, Kanban, or everything else. This has been an extraordinary insight for me in my own coaching. It has radically improved my engagements and the value that I'm able to deliver clients. I hope you'll find it useful as well.